here is my clock see our date so this is our date so today is 1707 2021 you will How are you all? I hope you are safe and sound. In today's video, let us create a digital clock. A digital clock using five pins. So, so what should we? What do we need to create a digital clock? So let's see in today's video. So I'm showing my screen. I go to project to create another pro uh, to create another python file say new python file so this is going to be clock okay so let us keep clock and now in this let us first import something like uh, what is this in, import? Like uh, how we import uh, things, fruits and all from other countries. We uh, are importing from the from another country, which is the package. So what, what is a package? Many people create packages so that things become easier for people like us to write code easily. So now we have to import something. So this, as I actually already installed new computer. Later on, we could see how to in install packages. So now first, as this package is already in the computer, we have to give from, that means in the computer. So whatever is in PyCharm, that is T K enter. Okay, enter. You would see here. It's a package. And now we have to import. We want to import all. So we cannot write all. See, it's showing something else. So now we cannot say it's saying all. It's something, something where inside. Take enter. So what should we do? Yes. We have to put a star. Star is also known as all in Python. So now again, we have to import something from TK Inter. TK Inter, which is in which TK Inter has all these, in which we need this TTK. So, in, so it autofills the in, input. We have to import all from this. And now from there must be some package for time as well, isn't it? So in from time import strength time. So we need this one. Okay. So now let us create a variable. Now we need a screen. For so for that we keep let's keep our variable as screen is equal to t tk you could see here the class so t, tk and now these parentheses brackets and now we have to play with this screen with the screen variable how do we do that now like now we have the screen variable we want to keep some title or else you will get a tk window so for that you have to put screen there's also a package name window so in that you will see here there is a package name wm so we have to uh, from there there is this title so let's take this title so let's just keep it as clock. Okay. And now let us let us go to our next one, which is the time. We need some time to be on the screen. How do we link it up with the screen? We keep a label. So let us give it as time. 
time name is equal to label. You see here label. So label. So now in this label, we have to tell where it should be. Or else this label is just useless. So screen. So this one will be screen variable. And then after that, it will be a font. We need some font to be there in this label. Font is equal to, let's keep it in uh, parentheses as, as we need some group of numbers and that we need the computer font, which is DS Digital. So everything should be in small letters as Python has been trained to only keep small letters here. And now we have to give the font, which is 40. Okay. And now next is background and foreground. Huh? What is this background and foreground? Yeah. So uh, now... We have this background and foreground. So in this back, in background, that means in the label, the background color will be black. So the text color will be white. And how we have to give the foreground? So we have to give a background of. So we have to give the background of this label. This won't come in the drop down section. Okay. Background. So, background is equal to everything in small letters. Okay. So, background is equal to black. And then foreground. Foreground is equal to. White, that means the color of the text will be white. So white. Okay. And now let's go to the next one. So now we have to anchor it in, in somewhere. What do you mean by anchor? Keeping it in a place where it doesn't move. Like how we anchored the ships to the deck. Like that. We have to anchor this label to the screen. Where uh, we have to lay, uh, we have to anchor this label to the screen in the certain place, which is the center. So now we could give our time name. Time name dot. We have to pack it. That means. We have to put that means we have pack the so time name dot pack. So we have to anchor it somewhere for that. We need to use this pack. So anchor is equal to center. Everything is small. Remember that. So after this, let us create a function. I hope you saw my last video about functions. So now def. Now let us create it as time. So this is going to be our time. Okay. So now this is going to be our timings. So what is our timings? As we have imported here, the string time, string pair time. Now in this, we have to give everything in strings. And now, so whatever text we give, it'll be given as well as we could give a time. How do we give that? We'll see. So first we can create a calendar come clock. So date, Date is equal to, I hope you all know this percentage symbol. So, the string time 
takes the percentage symbol and you have to give this D or H, M or S. Like that you have to give specifically for this. And most of these should be in capital. I'll tell you why I say most of these. So this one comma, I'll keep a tab space instead. So I'll keep a comma, two space, and now time. Time is H, that means the hours, and then the minutes. If you want, we could also keep the seconds. So seconds. If anyone is interested to know whether it's AM or PM, we could also keep this. We could keep whether it's AM or PM as well. So this one, so P, that's it. So now after this, we have to do one more thing. Let us take this time name variable dot configure. We have to configure this that means in this time name that means this time name should have the text that means this is just the label now what is the text in it for that we have to configure it so what is the text it is. so text text is equal to timings so this timings is the text here and now next one is after time not time name dot after so in this now we have to give the milliseconds thing so thousand is the milliseconds that means thousand milliseconds is equal to one second. So each second should count like thousand milliseconds. And now this is a time. So, so we give this time um, package. And now after this, we go down and now we have to call the function now time. So we are calling the time function. Now, if we run this, everything will go well, but it'll end so soon. We need something which will loop it. That means it should continuously have a screen for hours, days, years. So it should continuously have it. For that, we have to loop it. So for that, there's also a function called main loop. So we keep this main loop and that's it. You have created your calendar come block in just 13 lines of code. So now let us run it. So for me clock, it's running. So here is my clock. See our date. So this is our date. So today is 1707-2021. You will see here 07, that means 37. I mean it shows like a month, days, and then year. So it shows months, days, and years. We cannot change that. So now, if you see the time, the time here, today is 17th July. As you can see here, it's currently going like this one. Friends, you can see all these match. You can see everything is coming normal here. And then July. It comes in month, day, and then year format. And so today is 17th July 2021. So see that you have created your own 
clock come calendar in just 13 lines of code. Super, friends. Okay, friends. So, friends, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. So, if you liked it, please give the like button. If you're still new to my channel, then do hit the subscribe button. And if you want notifications to see more videos like this, please do click that notification bell as well. Okay, friends. Bye-bye. Meet you next time.